This is a quick analysis of the character Arthur Burling from the play An Inspector Calls. In this video, you will see a short extract and you will see how you might write about it using quotes and technical terminology. Mr. Burling is a prosperous factory owner. He enjoys the comforts and luxuries of wealth. He is aspirational. He craves public approval. He does not empathise with other people. In this extract, Burling is explaining why he is so happy that his daughter is marrying Gerald Croft. He says, It's one of the happiest nights of my life. And one day I hope, Eric, when you've a daughter of your own, you'll understand why. Gerald, I'm going to tell you frankly, without any pretenses, that your engagement to Sheila means a tremendous lot to me. She'll make you happy, and I'm sure you'll make her happy. You're just the kind of son-in-law I always wanted. Your father and I have been friendly rivals in business for some time now, though Crofts Limited are both older and bigger than Burling and & Company. And now you've brought us together, and perhaps we may look forward to the time when Crofts and Burlings are no longer competing, but are working together for lower costs and higher prices. Priestley's early characterization of Burling is deliberately blunt, portraying him as a stone-cold capitalist who thinks it appropriate to wish for lower costs and higher prices at his daughter's engagement party. His lack of personal sentiment is shown to be the result of greed. However, Burling is in a precarious position. He is keenly aware of his social inferiority to the Crofts, whose business is older and bigger than his own. Burling does not have family money to support him, but Sheila's marriage would provide a level of security that he desperately needs. He longs for a knighthood, which would have a similar effect. Arthur is an imposter among the upper class, and is attempting to force his way into high society through sheer will. In this sense, he can be read as a positive role model for aspirational workers who want to break through the glass ceiling of society's strict hierarchy. It is not greed, but insecurity that causes Burling's selfishness. The Crofts send a very nice cable, rather than attend his dinner party, and his own wife scolds him for his rough manners. Burling may buy exactly the same port as Lord Croft, but he will never be on the same level. He is walking a tightrope, and he knows that any hint of scandal could bring his whole world crashing down. If you are interested in personalised tuition for AQA English Language or Literature, please visit the website which is shown on screen and in the description box below. Thanks for watching.